Good morning. Uh, in this video session, I would like to uh, speak something about uh, uh, physical science. Normally, science is classified into natural science, and physical science. So I was speaking something about natural science in the previous video sessions, some of one of the videos, previous video session. In this video session, I would like to speak something about science and this uh, physical science. In this physical science, we have two categories. One is physics, Another one is chemistry. So uh, in other relations, you can see what is physics and what is chemistry. Now before uh, going into uh, physics and chemistry, I would like to speak about applications or Applications of application of physics and applications of chemistry. So uh, The applications can be simply said as this can apply the engineering concepts, engineering concepts. And engineering means making a product. Making a product related to physics and chemistry is what's called engineering. That is what is the application of physics and chemistry. Now, in physics, we have thermal science. Thermal science. Concepts of sound. That means, if I am making a sound here, how much distance this sound can propagate and what is the receiver's ability of this origin sound. If, it is, if uh, the sound at to what distance the sound can be reached a human being or other uh, uh, living things, other living objects. That is the concept of sound. And in thermal science is heat, you can say that heat. And light. Light. What is this light? We get light from the sun. Sun is a natural, natural source of light. Now, how that light is reaching to us, to the earth, that is what is called, that you can be studied in physics. What are the sun rays? How much distance this rays this will travel? And what is the life of life of sun ray? And so how much distance it can propagate and uh, uh, who is what is the who is the will be? That means the nine planets will receive the sun uh, light, sun rays. The nine planets will be sun rays. But apart from this particular planet, how much distance? That means mm, here is sun. So, for example, there is a star over here, which we are seeing by a human being. If around this star there is some particular planet, you can say, on that planet, some living thing, living being is there. 
living being who is seeing uh, the space just like what we are seeing in, from, uh, in, from the earth. Okay, whether this particular planet, from this planet, this sun is visible or not. That means this rays are traveling up to here or it is only up to certain distance where uh, uh, simple as a human being can observe or other uh, living uh, object can be seen. So let's call uh, uh, some life and uh, we can think this rays as a photon, uh, uh, emitting uh, photon and uh, uh, the distance, the speed of uh, uh, sun ray and things like that. It's called light. And we can see the concept of tube lights. Like tube lights in the home, bulbs, and other brilliant things. And uh, this is what we will see in the physics. And uh, uh, we can say uh, the concept of uh, electromagnetic magnet, magnetism, magnetism, electromagnetic wave, electromagnetic wave, and then uh, uh, we can uh, uh, hydraulic power. That means uh, we can see that uh, the electricity, uh, which were electricity like electricity. The electricity we are getting from the um, thermal uh, or uh, hydro power stations. Like uh, the water will be uh, from the height will be fallen on a turbine. Okay, the turbine will rotate. And by rotation of this turbine, uh, it will pass in uh, magnets. When it cuts magnet, the electricity will generate and this electricity will be distributed to several places. So it is the concept of electricity. And there are the concepts of physics. And uh, all the concepts are based upon mathematics. That means the conclusions which we make in physics are mathematical conclusions. The observation phenomena is source of uh, investigation and uh, the conclusion of the particular uh, observation will be based on mathematical equations or uh, like uh, what is the temperature on the sun surface. Temperature, sun surface. How can you think about uh, what is happening inside sun? So these are all from central physics and uh, advanced physics. And uh, uh, like uh, and then uh, simple uh, mechanics like uh, motion, motion of objects. How the objects will move, how the how the moon will move around the earth, how the earth will move around the sun, and how an automobile is moving. At what speed, what acceleration? Uh, and then similar, similarly, uh, we are sending some satellites to the uh, Earth's orbit. Uh, uh, how the satellites are uh, revolving around the sun or becoming rotating along with the sun. So these are all the concepts that we will see in uh, physics. And uh, this particular uh, here mechanics is uh, coming in. Mechanics is something which is coming into picture. Okay, uh, these are all some concepts related to physics. Now chemistry, that means chemistry, that means in this particular uh, world, uh, we have identified 104 or something uh, exactly, I'm not uh, using this value, 104 elements. Elements in the uh, maybe you can say as universe or something like universe or like that. So at right, plus also you can say. So what are these elements? Hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron. Like it will go up to one or four elements. Now. We observe several uh, masses like uh, in three states like uh, A, solid, liquid. And this air can say as gas liquid, some gas. Because air will be having only oxygen and nitrogen and nitrogen, but gas will be having several, like helium is a gas and oxygen uh, like is a gas. Some different different uh, gases are there. Uh, hydrogen is a gas. 
okay uh, so studying about these elements and uh, because the chemistry is basically atoms and molecules and uh, combination of this atoms and molecules of different elements uh, will be giving chemical like uh, hcl hydrogen chloride okay and water h2 like that other things say something like that and uh, this is simple chemistry and application of chemistry is like chemical engineering that means we have to manufacture several liters of hydrochloric acid several liters of it so there will be you know, designing a plant and this plant they are going to uh, make hydrogen combine hydrogen and chlorine in a particular chamber and try to uh, get a, uh, lots of uh, cylinders of uh, hcl like uh, like and will be sitting like that will sitting like that. so this is chemistry so this is what uh, so i am speaking about physics and physical science so in this uh, musician i am just uh, uh, what are the contents of what are the subjects that you have to uh, that you can think in physical science like you can think of studying uh, physical science and uh, basically physics and chemistry are two subjects which i have in physical science and the physics is application of physics is engineering and chemistry is also engineering and observation is anywhere like now you can say that in sun we have helium uh, most of the sun uh, we have helium gases so what is helium and what is the um, structure of uh, sun and things like that it is a simple study and experimentation observation and uh, engineering means are trying to make some hydrochloric uh, products like uh, several um, in, 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 in liters or kilograms of liters. so this is how uh, we are trying to uh, uh, define the physical science and uh, in some other video sessions i'll be uh, talking about uh, uh, physics in one one hour and another than the chemistry so thank you very much for watching the video